Hello, hello everybody. Tonight we are going to be continuing our Pokemon Platinum playthrough. Last time we beat Crasher Wake, I believe, witnessed terrorism. At least I think so. My brain is a mush. <laughs> hey, Neon, just been doing PMD a lot currently to the point where I might hit Guildmaster rank. Huzzah! Go and overthrow Wigglytuff. But yeah. I think we did a lot. Yeah, because I think last time... Like... All I know is I think we chased a terrorist. Then we went up to... Celestic Town, <laughs> talked to Cynthia's grandmother, and then I think came down here. My my memory is mush. Uh, just everything mushes together. It's not my fault. <laughs> I'll be the captain now. <laughs> Look at me. I'm the captain now, Wigglytuff. <laughs> Look at me, Yolo and Apollo. <laughs> You're the captain now. Ain't that just the way it be? But today, we are going to try and do... Ba ba ba. Iron Island, I believe it is. I forget it was. I think it should be Iron Island. Yep, Iron Island. For some reason, my brain was just like, no, that's not correct, but it is. Even Barry said that we should go there before taking on this here gym, and we're gonna get a Riolu. Well, at least an egg, probably. But let's invade everybody's home and talk to everybody. Um, who did you say I was again? Oh yes, I remember now. I'm the move deleter. You've come to make me force your Pokemon to forget some moves? Why'd you even do that? Remember me if there are moves that need to be forgotten. A weird thing. Oh, and I guess I'll talk about Pokemon Day a bit. Uh, in I want to talk to you! Quit moving around! Hello, trainer. There's something I found. It was mixed with a load of cargo from another country. It's not anything that I can use, so I think you should take it. But yeah, Pokemon Day. It was nice, kind of small. But at the same time, hopefully it's a sign that the Pokemon company will slow things down and make adequate games. Unless that rumor that the Switch 2 needed to be delayed till next year, and that's the only reason why we're not getting Legends ZA <laughs> this year. Honestly, I became a sugar-rushed kid at the new game. The new game, super cool. Another Legends game is what I, is like the secondary thing that I'd like out of a Pokemon Direct. Legends Arceus is my favorite, like a uh, second favorite Pokemon game. When it comes to mainline Pokemon gameplay, favorite Pokemon game. Uh, Mystery Dungeon Explores the Sky will always be my favorite Pokemon game now that I've played it in full. And, uh, again, I'm still holding out hope. I'm holding out hope that next year, for the 20th anniversary of Mystery Dungeon, they'll, they'll do something. But at the same time, I, I, I'll still have the, the clown wig on standby for when the, the evils of the universe decide to disappoint the Mystery Dungeon fans by denying us a game on the 20th anniversary. <laughs> Somewhere far beyond the vast sea, there are other lands populated by Pokemon and trainers. Yes, that's how the world works. <laughs> you and me both, buddy. But either way, even if there isn't gonna be a new Mystery Dungeon game at least announced next year, I'm sure there's still things we can do. <laughs> I could always go and make my own Mystery Dungeon game with blackjack and hookers. I'm gonna study at the library. I've taken an interest in the subject of space and time. The gym leader and trainers of this gym often go to Iron Island. They not only train their Pokemon, but they work out as well. Everyone is a monster here. All right, empty house. Somebody's gonna appear there someday, or maybe it's reserved for an event. Sailor Eld Eldritch? Okay, Cthulhu. I'm gonna be a sailor like my daddy. 
He's a real man among men. Even the sea doesn't scare him. Oh, but a gym leader would be cool, too. Byron is so awesome. Our boy has too much energy. That's the best way to be. You throw him into a generator room, the city explodes. Do you want to set sail? Anchors away! I don't know if a Chimchar and Riolu looks more silly as a guild master. Just thinking about it. Really, any any Pokemon can be a guild master. Ha, sudden speed. I now I wonder what the silliest guild master would be. I did do some grinding off screen. That better not actually be fog game. I don't want to deal with fog. Another empty house. That's just like the last one. I guess this is the Sailor Eldritch's Iron Island home? Hello, dude. You are? Okay, you're Neon. I'm Riley. I'm a trainer, and yes, it is a bit odd that I'd be training here. Anyway, it's always nice to meet another trainer. Here's a gift. Alright, is this strength? That hidden machine contains the move strength. To use it out of battle, you need the the mine badge from Canalave Gym. I'll be training inside. You can join me if you'd like. I demand egg. All right. Interesting. Fight me. But in a way that I can still go down here. Yeah, I like to camp. So what? Let's battle. You're going to end up uh, on missing 411. Camper Lawrence. Go, Charm. I think I might have over-grinded. Over the one upside to having all my Pokemon evolve. I don't have to worry about, like... Over-grinding and missing things out on... Out here. I'll send in to go. Give them up a little bit. Yeah, at the very least, when it comes to Mystery Dungeon, I still have two games to go through. And then if I ever want to, I can just replay them again. Like a true Mystery Dungeon maniac. I should have just stuck to camping out here. Exactly, you should have. Now I'm imagining, like... A mystery dungeon game where you take the role as a guild master. I think that could be an interesting thing. Then again, like, my main want of a Pokemon mystery dungeon game will always be, like, a 3D hack and slash beat em up with, like, dodging and special moves. Still with the dungeon crawling, but just a little tweak. Oh, you're not going to explode, are you? Yeah, that actually didn't do much. Die. You will be obliterated. Desiccated upon the rocks. <laughs> what about the fan-made Explorers of Spirit, which is a fan-made sequel to Explorers of Sky? Ooh! I think I've heard of it, but I, I haven't looked into it. Maybe I should. I have... <laughs> then again, maybe I did and I forgot. I did download a decent few, like, uh, Mystery Dungeon fan games. Like, back before I started uh, streaming Explorers of Sky. So I could always jump in and play one of those. Most of them are like, I think like short experiences, but still. Does mean that I'd have to like, think of something else to do after I, if I beat them early. Like I'd hate to be like, ah, I'm gonna stream now and it's like 30 minutes. Could still be a good 30 minutes, but still. I think Charm's dead. 
Why is magnitude... Oh, yeah, because it was a crit. <laughs> that magnitude 7 was a crit. And then I got a crit. That wasn't all that useful. But yeah, I have a fair few Mystery Dungeon fan games that I definitely need to get around to playing. Well, I guess first I need to get around to making sure they work, and then I can, <laughs> then I can play them. I think there was, like, a proof-of-concept Gates to Infinity D-Make. But it was just, like... Like I said, I think it was just a proof-of-concept and wasn't all that much of a... Like, ooh, we're actually gonna do it. Would have been interesting, but also not sure if that would, like, be legal. I'm not sure if it's entirely legal to remake an entire game as a ROM hack for a different game. Have the courts puzzle that one out. <laughs> one thing that pains me about Pokemon merchandising is that sometimes your favorite Pokemon isn't on any. Oh, that's true. It's mostly due to the fact that there are super duper lots of Pokemon. So they kind of have to pick and choose. They can't exactly go out and put all 1,000 plus on merchandise. But still, it does hurt. At the same time, I don't really seek out merchandising all that much. So maybe I don't notice it as badly. Hello, Golbat. Is this gonna be the Golbat cave? The last cave was... All something else, this cave will all be you. Over there, we have Graveler. Over here, we have Golbat. How do trade Pokemon like Golem and Alakazam spawn in the wild? I just realized that. Do you like Pokemon do arranged marriages to trade? And evolve their- <laughs> evolve themselves. It can't just be abandoned, because... Like, uh... An Alakazam could be found in the wild in... Legends Arceus. <laughs> and on top of- topic of merchandising. Yeah, but still I had to make my own Darkrai hoodie when, <laughs> with an iron-on patch. That's dedication. And now I'm gonna murder this child. May we have a battle, please? It'll be something to lighten up this boring picnic with. Why are you having a picnic out here? On Iron Island. With one Pokemon. Go, Amp. Crunch this Raichu. Glare at the Raichu. And then munch. Mum, 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 mum. Remember, kids, while you're having a picnic, stay hydrated. Kill God. Kill a Raichu in one hit with a crit. <laughs> We're not going to win if we play around like that. Imagine a person comes along your picnic and you're like, Hey, would you like to have a fun Pokemon battle? To have some fun here in this world of picnic? And they just one-shot your Pokemon. And you, your only Pokemon. It was like, what fun. Now my brain went, boy, I would like to play Pokin Tournament. But I do not want to pay for the online, so there's not much point to get Pokin Tournament. Because I had po uh, Pokin Tournament on the Wii U. Played some online there, even though my internet was bad. Hmm, darn. Have to go up here. Also, you. Uh, also, YOLO is pronounced YOLO. I'm sorry about it, but it just pains me when someone mispronounces it. <laughs> Not YOLO, YOLO. Different emphasis. Another critical hit, when it wasn't really needed. 
But still, from full health to dead. See if we can get the item from this way. A revive! Do I care to get that item? I guess we can. Just to go a bit slow and then we'll smack him. Bum, 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 bum. I wonder if they'll ever make a Pokémon Tournament 2. Because I think a lot of people decently liked it. Granted, I didn't hear much about it overall, but I don't think I heard anything negative. I'm surprised Pokémon didn't get much more on the Switch. Didn't they add, like, one or two new Pokémon as DLC? On top of, like, the whole... Just, like, Super Duper Edition. Because, like, there's the initial Super Duper Edition release. And then, like, a few DLCs. Just, like, six new characters, including Darkrai. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if their community is still fighting. Fighting on with their tournament style. That's also one thing that stops me from, like, playing a bunch of fighting games. Is because a lot of the ones that interest me are, like, some of the older ones. But then, like, the older ones, the only people that are playing are the old masters. So if you try to play now, you're just gonna get annihilated. <laughs> Lancelot, we need to cook. I should probably throw Lancelot out here amidst all these rock types. But at the same time, Indigo needs to get up to par with everybody else. He's down one level. More like in this case, it's like Lancelot. We have to find the egg. The special egg. The fan favorite egg. I wonder if there's a reason there's... Actually, I, I just realized. the I've only ran into three people on this island. It was a weird guy called Riley. And then two children. I thought this was a place people came to to train. As someone who tried Tekken, I got cooked like a seven-course meal. Did you see the Pokemon Presents? I did. It was mostly just, eh, it's okay. With uh, the interesting Pokemon trading card game mobile thingamajig that was interesting. And then, of course, the Pokemon ZA Legends announcement, which is super cool. Very happy that Legends is getting more... Just anything. Because Legends Arceus, very choice thing. Very, very good. Of course, mild sadness that there was no Mystery Dungeon news. But at the same time, next year is the 20th anniversary. And then I can sob uncontrollably when it doesn't happen then. <laughs> Zed, if you're a Brit. <laughs> Ah, well, Riley's this way, so the other way must be the... Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> they gave my man a game after ten years. Yeah, because wasn't there, like... A, a, like, a, a data, like, not leak, but people uh, did some data mining and found a thing that implied that there originally was meant to be another Kalos game. Like... Kalos, like, uh, or, like, two more Kalos games, but, like, as blah, blah, blah. Like, uh, basically, it's a black two, white two situation. I feel, I think that's what was meant to happen, and then that just didn't. This is the 25th anniversary of Johto, yet there were no Johto games. Hmm. Could just be my bias, but they can't exactly do, like, super-duper, like, anniversaries for every region, because then you get to a point where regions might overlap and that would, like, overflow them. But with, like, Mystery Dungeon, I think the timelines line up just good enough 
that the 20th anniversary for Mystery Dungeon could be celebrated. While I'm making sure the lips are safe, I'll focus on a battle with you. Because... Then again, I don't think they've ever celebrated like a Mystery Dungeon anniversary before, so who knows. But it's a 20th anniversary for a, a side game that, that's a very big fan favorite. <laughs> well, I'll have a clown makeup for it. Yep. Everyone stand by the clown car. Get your clown wig ready. For the disappointment of the 20th anniversary that the Pokemon company will ignore. I think they openly stated Z was planned, but they didn't get to it. Eh. For the 30th anniversary of Pokemon, they should give us a damn official timeline. They'll do something weird and it'll be like, and this is when Pokemon Mystery Dungeon takes place. Just like randomly put on the timeline for the normal mainline games. Somehow Pokemon Red and Blue are in the future. Oh yeah, the red and the blue you ran into in like Sun and Moon or Ultra Sun and Moon. Yeah, those are actually, that was actually Ash's dad. Ah, uh, the Zelda timeline. That thing that they're just like, well, people have just uh, made it their own thing, so let's talk about it. And then they're like, oh no. <laughs> it got away from them. As much as I wanted something Gen 5, I knew it wasn't happening. They do remakes every other Gen, excluding Gen 1 for Fire Red, Leaf Green. Very interesting. I haven't paid much attention to it. For me, though... I have high hopes for a mystery dungeon next year because of a few things. One, 20th anniversary, even though I don't think they ever celebrated the 10th or 15th anniversaries. I don't think. But they did release Rescue Team DX a few years ago now. So they could have, like, a bit of framework to make another Switch or at least, like, Switch-esque console mystery dungeon game, and it would make sense from a mini pattern that has arisen from their mystery dungeon releases, uh, because there were two mystery dungeon games released on DS, Rescue Team and then Explorers. There were two mystery dungeon games released on 3DS, Gates to Infinity, and then Super Mystery Dungeon, and so far we've had one mystery dungeon game released on Switch, Plus, it could, depending on if it is backwards compatible, there could also be, like... Or, like, if the next, like, Nintendo console is backwards compatible with Switch, there could also be, like, multi-generational, kind of like the first... Actually, that would work super good if they made a Mystery Dungeon game on both Switch and the Switch successor for the 20th anniversary of the first Mystery Dungeon game that was released on Game Boy Advance and the DS, but that's just conspiracy brain. Neon, I'm glad to see you here. How do you know my name? Did I tell you? I don't think I did. If you don't mind, let's team up. The Pokemon seem to be restless. I've decided to go with Riley. Don't explode my Pokemon. If your Pokemon get hurt, I'll heal them up. We're gonna annihilate these guys. Also kind of tired of people saying Let's Go is a remake, making the every other gen thing not true. Let's Go feels more like a spin-off. I think it's weird, because I could have sworn that I heard that the, the, the Pokemon company considers, like, Legends and Let's Go mainline Pokemon games, but I could be just completely wrong on that. Then again, the Pokemon company is insane sometimes. Let's Go didn't feel good in my opinion. I personally am not interested in the Let's Go's purely because, like, it's just trainer battles and gym battles, and I like the wild Pokemon. I don't know. It, it ties the game together for me. I was talking to a friend about how I wouldn't mind if Legends became their more mature series. Not mature as in throw in blood and guts, uh, but about PMD levels. Yeah, just kind of, just a bit more. Not as simple as normal Pokemon. Like, have more story-focused, less butterflies and rainbows. Yeah, Legends Arceus is very good, so 
Here's hoping that Legends ZA is good. Every good hiker gets a boost of energy when surrounded by boulders. Roar! Coming at you! Let me blow off some steam! When you're up in the mountains, a battle do for a proper greeting. But yeah, after Legends Arceus, I very much hope that they're nice and continue it. Go, Surf, Annihilate. Come on, Lucario, why you gotta be weak? I'm not saying other Pokemon games haven't had slad, sad slash kind of dark stories, but still, yeah, because, like, in Mystery Dungeon, the darker aspects felt, like, more front and center, in a way. And in Legends Arceus, there was also kind of just that vibe to it all, just a little bit more. But with normal Pokemon games, like, there's just something about them where they don't really have, like, super darkness. Then again, I haven't played Sword and Shield, Scarlet and Violet, so I might be missing something. I don't know. I could be a fool. I could be Boo Boo the Fool up here. It could also be that, like, the normal Pokemon games have kind of cemented themselves into a certain, like, emotional niche, as it were, that it could be that it's more noticeable when other Pokemon games have, like, more out there stories and stuff. In my opinion, the best stories of the main series is Black and White, Sun and Moon, and Scarlet and Violet. Hmm. All of ones that I haven't played. <laughs> All of which get a bit dark. Hmm. I'll definitely need to get to them eventually. Ooh, crazy delicious sugar. I think I've calmed down now. Yahoo! <laughs> Sword and Shield story is ass, however. Uh, oh, well. I'll still give it a shot. Give it a fair shake. Because you never know. <laughs> Pure acetry. Maybe eventually I'll get to it. It's just that it's one of the... It's a Switch one. It's all basically... I think it's like $10 off now, basically, but it also has DLC. Fun game, but God, the story is terrible. That's kind of funny. Amusing. Granted, I don't think I heard much about. Ba ba ba. About it overall. Really, of Sword and Shield, the only th the only things that dominated the conversation back when it first came out were like Dexit and uh, the graphics. Otherwise, didn't hear anything. It had such potential, but they fumbled it terribly. That's kind of sad. But still, I have lots of Pokemon games that I need to play. There's so many Pokemon games. Like Gates to Infinity, then Super Mystery Dungeon. Also have, like... Bah, bah, bah. Gales of Darkness XD. Need to get to that. Like I was talking about earlier, the uh, other like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon fan games. Need to give some of them a shot. Which reminds me, I really need to <coughs> write more. Write my stories more. I have tons of Mystery dungeon story ideas that I need to get out there. <laughs> I want to have a new Captain Toad game. I have Captain Toad, but I haven't played it yet. <laughs> Maybe that could be my thing of like, oh, uh, if I play a Mystery Dungeon fan game 
and it ends before I'm ready, I'll just begin streaming Captain Toad. <laughs> I haven't played Scarlet yet, so I avoid spoilers for it like the plague. As you should. At least by my personal opinion. I like going into games, like, experience-wise, as blind as possible. I don't mind, like, certain hints or tips as like, Hey, don't choose this class, it's terrible, that kind of thing. But when it comes to story, I like to go in as blind as possible so that I can... Give it a fair shake. It was just a, it's a fun experience trying to, like, theorize what's going to happen next with stories that really engage me. Even though, like, I've... I just realized that I haven't really talked about the story of this game at all. Because it doesn't really feel like it has one. Like, there's Galactic, but it's just like, Haha, we're being a dick here. We're being a dick here. We're stealing energy. We blew up a marsh, but there's not really a story. There's a series of events and just a, a, a evil team being dicks. Like, even if I didn't know of like what their ultimate plan was because Cyrus and everything just kind of has extended his influence beyond everything and people know about him. Like, I'm not sure if I'd have anything to say. It's just like, we're gonna... Universe and stuff. <laughs> Fanfic writers impress me because they're either the best stories I've ever heard in my life or god-awful things that should never have been seen. It's so funny. There's no middle ground. They could be the ultimate story. The next horrible. I think there is a middle ground. It's just that the terrible and the great are the ones that kind of float to the top mostly. But sometimes... There will be fanfics where I'm just like, I wish that, like, it was slightly different. Because there's, like, this one, I'm a spider, so what, fanfic. That, like, who knows? Maybe it is fully faithful to being written in, like, the isekai light novel style. I just wish that it, like, described things more. And had a more traditional writing, like, ooh describe things, show you what's happening rather than tell because it's otherwise pretty goddamn good. Nah. If we were to battle, your Pokemon would become tougher. Likewise, my Pokemon would also become tougher. Somebody else in this game said the exact same thing. Die. The exact same sentiment has been told to me already. Tough Pokemon, tough trainers. You tell me, where else can I find a place as good as this to train? We have fanfic. Fanfiction is definitely... Just gone up and above lately. It's just, I like fan fiction. Fan fiction is fun because you get these stories that you would never get from like the, the, the people actually behind the main thing. Like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon stories, you would never get. So many of these Pokemon Mystery Dungeon stories, even ones that like have hardly any blood, no cursing. It's, it almost feels like it could be like an actual Pokemon like mystery dungeon story being told to you right here, right now. And then of course you have the ones that are like they have decent blood, they have death, they have cursing, they have implied sex. So that's what it looks like. Do you have anybody else on your team? Tell me, Riley, that you have someone else on your team. Riley has nobody else on his team. He has left me to die. <laughs> Being an Undertale fan has mentally scarred me because of all the weird-ass comics and shit people would make. Meanwhile, I don't think that I... Like, I enjoyed the Undertale fandom from, like, my little corner. That's the thing. A lot of people are like, oh, this... This fandom is terrible, and meanwhile, I'm just off in my own little corner. Why the fuck is that still going, you bastard? But yeah, I just sit in my little corner and, like, moderate my experience. And so far, I've had a very decent thing. Like, same thing with 
My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, I just moderate my experience. Undertale, I moderate my experience. If I see something stupid, I just ignore it. And then there's the people out there like, blah, I'm going to rant and rave, and I just kind of ignore them. I was wondering why I was doing so much damage. <laughs> Didn't realize that Lancelot was super affected by Medicham. I guess he got steel typing. I'm a fool. And who shall we throw out next? I think I'll throw out, hmm, actually ground. I shall, ooh, actually, Nova. You'll annihilate them. Never seen MLP, but I heard the community isn't incredible. Once again, depends on, like your own moderated experience. Some of it can be a lot of cringe. There's some utter bastards out there. But if you moderate your experience and be like, you sit in your own corner, you follow the, just the right people, you have a fun time. There's some great music artists in the MLP community. Good music artists, good animators. Good artists, comic creators, fanfic writers. There's a lot of grand things there. But it's also like, uh, I think people like... I'm trying to think of the right, the, the right words. Because with fandoms, the bigger they are, the more people that they have. Which means the more crazies they inherently have. And I think people just kind of goes like, well, this fandom isn't that crazy. It's like, yeah, because that fandom is for this much smaller thing. Because it's weird when you have, like, Undertale or MLP, where it's niche, but big. It's a big niche. So, you're going to have the weirdos, you're going to have the crazies. But it's just like, that's the same thing with any fandom. It's just bigger, so you can, once again, find the crazies a little bit easier. That's basically the fandom experience in general. I think too many people... Like... What's the word? Paint entire fandoms with a broad brush? When... That just is a little unfair. It's kind of like calling every, like, female protagonist a Mary Sue, to a degree. Not completely correct, but it's hard to, like, get my brain in there. <laughs> yeah, I just sit in my little corner while the Phantom is probably burning at the stake. Really much. That is how you... That's how you handle it. You ignore the crazies, stick to your lane, and vibe in your own area. And Nova's probably gonna get annihilated from that. Goodbye, Nova. I've noticed a trend where the worse the game, the sillier the community. Worse says in violent or creepy or things like that. And the more wholesome the game, the community is terrifying. <laughs> Maybe. Some people try to claim similar to like, uh, like uh, on Tumblr, they're like, oh, the Breaking Bad community on Tumblr is all like, ooh, like wholesome, funny, aha. But it's like, oh, the MLP community, oh, they're crazy. It was like, once again, it's all about moderating your own experience. So, like, if you're not in a fandom, like, the craziness will probably find you easier. Or even if, like, you're only kind of in the fandom, depending on who you follow and stuff, the craziness might come along and you'd be like, Oh my god, this fandom's crazy, I can't like this thing. But, like, the deeper you're into the fandom, the more you just go like, Oh yeah, I like this thing, and then off on the fringe, somebody's being just an utter psychopath. It also, it also depends on, like, the circles you run in. You know, I would have really enjoyed to win there. Would have been real nice. Don't you guilt trip me. That was good. Well, you've bonded well with your Pokemon. <laughs> like, if you search up FNAF game about murder and shit, you'll see videos of Freddy doing Gundam style. To be fair, it also depends on vibes. Because of, like, FNAF, the entire concept is inherently kind of silly. 
the idea of, ooh, killer robots, Chuck E. Cheese, coming to get you. There is that kind of silliness built into it. So, even though it is like, ooh, dark, gruesome, child murder annihilation, there's going to be that silliness to it. That's what I do. I just rather enjoy things I enjoy and not worry about whatever other people think. That's basically have to, what you have to do with, like, even uh, what people call cringe nowadays. Don't worry about the cringe. Just enjoy what you like. Don't consume blindly, of course. Admit the, the faults of, like, maybe unfortunate writing. Maybe a writer on a show that was probably not the best person in the world, maybe. But at the same time, don't let people be like, Oh, you're a bad person for liking this. Ooh, you like MLP? You're weird. Just... Like my outro says, be yourself, be happy, be kind. That's just how you be in the world. Hi, sorry I'm late. No problem at all. We're just wandering through the cave with Riley and his Lucario, who's typically getting his ass beat, it seems. We're currently warbling on about fandom culture and stuff. But yeah, with fandoms, it's weird. Because, like, again... I feel like too many people paint fandoms with a broad brush. Because it also depends on, like, what they're exposed to, if they're exposed to a lot of things. It's all just... It's all very crazy. Like, as I think his name is Randy Feltface says in one of his specials when he was about to go into buying a book shelf on Gumtree. Like, human beings aren't built mentally to really deal with the utter deluge of people and nuance, the fine minutia of, like, these thousands upon thousands of people making up this grander community that they might not even be a part of. So they have to, like, paint a big brush to mentally handle it. It's like, it's all crazy. I'll pound the fear of my fists into you all karate style, punk! What are you? Karate... What's his name? Robocop? <laughs> karate Robocop? Beating you would be my hundredth straight win. Here's to a fun battle. I witnessed Riley one-hit KO half of Team Plasma's Pokemon. I one-hit KO the other half. Isn't that a fun time? <laughs> okay, I think this is the first time we've seen a Toxicroak. I'll uh, get annihilated. The real fandom was the friends we made along the way. Exactly. With fandom, it doesn't really matter about the 100% everybody else. All that matters is, like, the creators you follow, the people you meet, the stories you want to read, the art you want to look at, the music you want to listen to. One is Future Sight. Two turns after this move is used, the foe is attacked with a hunk of psychic energy. But what if I just hit him with psychic twice? Goodbye. Also, 90% chance. We just ultimately... I think with, like, fandom stuff, if somebody's being a sick fuck, they should be called out, thrown in the dumpster, shipped all the way to Abu Dhabi, and for, uh, never allowed to exist again. If there's somebody being a super weirdo, kick them out, let them rot, forget their existence, put their face up on the wall of shame. If you need a reference, otherwise, forget about them. Otherwise, read your stories, play your games, listen to your music, consume your fandom content, and don't let people, including the fandom itself, ruin your experience with something. Because I've heard far too many people say that, like, oh, the fandom ruined, like, Undertale for them, which I just hate. I just hate. Because I can't really discount their experience, because maybe they really did have, like, super, super bad experience with the fandom, and they literally can't separate the horrible fandom experience from the game itself, which is tragic.
That's why they have to foster this more healthy fandom attitude. Because fandom is all meant to, about, meant to be about fun. Especially in this day and age, when there's like... The, mo the more of the ability to curate your experience with like, archive of our own. There are a bunch of tags. Don't like a thing? I'll nuke it from existence and you never have to see it again. Kind of harder with things like Twitter, Tumblr and stuff because... Diddly D, but it's all about curating your experience and blocking weirdos. If somebody's being a weird harassing weirdo, don't don't feel afraid to block them. Sure, there'll be a weirdo and be like, they blocked me, I am the winner! Because this age of the internet has just bred the weirdest psychopaths to exist. I think you should be able to enjoy a game without the fandom. That's also true. But it also depends on, like, your own unique circumstances, like poor Markiplier with his experience of Undertale. Where the fandom came to him because he was a big creator. Hmm, who do I want to throw in? Hmm. Guess I'll try to level up Charm a bit, even though Charm probably is going to be <laughs> the one let go for the egg. Anyone who knows uh, me doesn't know my face. I always wear a plain blue baseball cap and a mask. I don't think that I've shown my face on the internet ever, I don't think. So yeah, nobody knows my face either. It's why I have my fursona. Fear my power. Who needs to know my face? I just make content. Well, I worded that wrong, but I meant the same thing you were saying. I'm terrible at wording things. Mood. Like, trying to find the right words to express your exact thoughts is a very difficult thing. Because for me, it's like, you shouldn't be, like, shamed or afraid to partake in fandom. You shouldn't be, like, painted alongside the evils of other people in the fandom. Like, oh, you enjoy this and partake in the fandom? Maybe you're a freak, too. Meh. If you want to enjoy the Cure content, if you want to enjoy the fandom content, it's all about just, like, existing. This feels like there would be an item here. Item finder, where are you? Ah, there's the item finder. Why is it... <laughs> that was weird. Why was it... Doing it multiple times. I don't understand. <laughs> Pokemon Legends Basculin. The ultimate Pokemon experience. Honestly, a Pokemon stealth game would... Uh, with Looker, I think that would be nice. That would be interesting. Considering how many Pokemon there are out there. Like, having a stealth game would be interesting. Now my brain instantly jumped to, what if there was a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game where you're playing as a thief and you, your job is to, like, sneak in and steal things from various marks like a guild or a shop or Kecleon. Or maybe, like, a Greninja Zorark could work. Yeah, where you play as the Pokemon. Could do just about anything. I could go to school without my hat, mask, vest, bag, and coat, and nobody would recognize me. Isn't that the life? <laughs> I wonder if he likes Mystery Dungeon. Well, I don't know. I have, like, 20-plus purely Mystery Dungeon-focused story ideas lodged in my head that I've also kind of written down into a Google Doc so I don't forget them. I'm still writing my Explorer's Playthrough-inspired Valentine's one-shot that is way too late. Hello, Steelix. What the fuck? There's also that, like, 11-chapter Mystery Dungeon story that I've plotted out and just need to write the chapters for. And then my way-too-big, probably... 50 plus chapter mystery dungeon story. Too many. Too many stories. 
aside from the girl I have a crush on. She has seen my face before. I don't think I've ever had a crush in my life. Could just be... It's like, I don't know. Could just be the social anxiety where I don't want to presume on anything so I don't act. Or maybe I set up an emotional barrier. I don't know. Relationships, even platonic friendships, be hard. <laughs> I will donate negative ten dollars if you add masculine to your next story. I could probably fit him in somewhere. There is a lot of, like, little fine minutia that I need to work in for my big, big one. Maybe the Basculin could be, like, a super criminal boss. <laughs> Iron Island. Steelix. Easy. Funnily enough, I think that was the first... Well, I think that might have been the second and third Steelix I've seen since I've gotten to Iron Island. Give him a single line of dialogue saying pee-pee-poo-poo. Nah, I don't think that. That's too Lythero for me. Lucario is my favorite Pokemon. It is definitely up there. It's a very good Pokemon. I like minimal social interaction. For me, I don't know because social interaction is difficult to actually have. So it's like some part of me's sometimes where I'm like, I wish the social interaction would end. But then when it comes to like the social interactions I want to have, it's hard to initiate them and have them go. Will you stop with the rock blast, you motherfucker? How dare you do it five million times? That's five million times too many. Be taxed for your actions. To hell with you. Rock hell. You into the tumbler you go, not the sight, but the mechanical thing. Hey, this is no playground if you're gonna play battle me. The Cantalave Gym folks use this place as their training grounds. <laughs> Making a friendship is hard, okay? Definitely. Not the Geo Dude. The Geo Dud. I'll kick the Magnemite. I figured out how to cause my foot to cramp, so I use it occasionally to get out of weird convo. That's a that's an interesting skill to have. I'm an introvert. The girl I have a crush on is the one person I have I'm comfortable around. This is why she knows my face. That's sweet. Always nice to have, like, people you trust, people you feel comfortable around. It's just a nice thing. Well, I feel like... I feel like Charm is gonna get annihilated here. Why didn't you go for the right one? Now they're going to kill us both. Wake up, slap the bitch slapping my my love bonnie. You bitch. Oh, that's not good at all. He revenged me for what Lucario did. How dare. <laughs> I'm going to marry myself because I share all my interests with me. <laughs> my very own... G I was like, what's that one, I think, just edited comic panel? My own clone. Now neither of us will be virgins. Another Geodude. And a Graveler. Let me guess, Lucario, you're gonna fight... You're gonna fight the Geodude, aren't you? You're gonna let the Graveler live because you're a fool, aren't you? Of course you would, you bastard. Of course you get a critical hit on it, too. It probably would have died anyway. Luckily, you started with Rollout, and Rollout doesn't do much uh, at first. Get schmacked.
There's so much I feel like I need to do. I need to do more, like, I need to do more of my art. I need, I need to do more writing. <laughs> At least I feel like I'm doing good on my streams. With streaming, I feel like I'm doing a lot of streaming good. I'm actually keeping to my, my schedule. This will be, like, two months now, January and February, that I have kept to my schedule and not uh, skipped a day. The only day that I was close to skipping was uh, one wins the Wednesday after I beat Explorers of Sky because I overestimated how much post-game content was left. So it was just like, huh. And then I think, was that the day that I started doing Platinum? That was like seven streams ago, so I don't know. My memory is bad, okay? Remember your first prom, Barry? It was me, Barry, when you went to kiss, you, <laughs> kiss your date, and I jacked you off at super speed to make it seem like you came at the first touch of a woman. <laughs> Lucario just naturally hates Geodude. Or Geordi. How do... I was facing, like, the rock types that are related to Geodude, so I read Jordy, and my- <laughs> Oh no, you actually corrected yourself, Geodude. The Geodude was named Jordy all along. Nobody likes Jordy, he's forsaken. That one Megamind quote didn't age well. The one about the Easter Bunny? Yeah, he came back, kicked his ass. I don't care about Mist, it's just like, ooh, you, your stats don't change. Why do that when I can just kill them before they change my stats? There is no Easter Bunny, there is no Tooth Fairy, and there is no Queen of England. I can't believe that Sans Undertale killed the <laughs> killed the Queen. And then hilariously, under the same circumstances of getting to the finals of like a social media poll, Sans Undertale <laughs> came close to killing the new king as well. Sans Undertale, killer of the monarchy. They got the Queen's reboot card. Somebody stop them. The sequel to the great mouse detective we didn't know we needed. The destroyed remains of the, the robot queen being reactivated to take over the country. Get obliterated, Steelix. I'm kind of sad that we didn't get, like, a sequel to The Great Mouse Detective. The Great Mouse Detective was great. Not even pun in... It was like... It just... It was good. It was a fun time. What do you think they'd do if the queen came back? Considering that people tend to stay dead, I don't think there's any protocol in place. I guess you just need to look at, like, what anybody does when it comes to, like, the situations of somebody being announced dead and then for some reason they're not. Since we're gonna be fighting Galactic, Nova, you go. I get it now. You're responsible for agitating the Pokemon. I don't care what good reason you may have, but I don't want you bringing any trouble into the mine. We're Team Galactic! We'll take all the Pokemon we want! Isn't that right, partner? You said it, brother! So what's... So that's what we're gonna do! We're abducting all the Pokemon from this rusted-out Iron Island! To share in all the joys and all the sorrows. That is how all the trainers and Pokemon live in Sinnoh. I won't allow anyone to defy the Code of Ethics. Come on, Neon. This one this is one battle we can't lose. <laughs> Shout out to the guy who's pronounced dead for 14 minutes and didn't just came back. 
and also the guy who died and came back to life in prison, and he argued he served his life sentence. I mean, way back when, they used to tie, like, a rope around the toe of a, a recently dead person as they buried him, and had that rope connected to a bell, because it was just a thing where their medical science is so bad that a dead person would <laughs> wake up and be like, I'm alive! Like, if I remember one kind of dark story, I think there was somebody, like, a bit ways back. Their grandma died, they buried her. For some reason, they had to exhume her. There were claw marks on the inside of the coffin. Situations can be fucked. Why don't people who die and come back just tell us what happened? Like, what it felt like or whatever. I think they mostly do. It's just that people have, like, gotten kind of sick of it. I think there was one guy who, like, wrote a book. It's like, I don't know. Also, I just realized, why does the bird learn a fighting move? A critical hit that Lucario didn't need. We shall smack at the Golbat. And he will die, apparently. Oh, damn it, he almost died. My aerial ace is better than your wing attack. And we'll smack at the Stunky, I guess. Because, yeah, he'll kill the Golbat. Critical hit time, huzzah! And a level up for Nova. I want to cry, my heart is shattered. They're too tough to handle, what a combination! Yes, seven Pokemon. So hard. Stop, I said stop, your combination is so sick! The both of you and your Pokemon. Let's beat it, partner! You said it, brother. We don't even know what Team Galactic's big plan is anyway! Thanks, you really helped out. Listen, I have a Pokemon egg here. Would you take it with you? Thank you. But you don't have room to take another Pokemon. All right, then. I'll wait here for you. I shall leave. I have an escape rope, actually. I think I have a ton of them. I'm gonna go make room. That egg will be mine. If only there was a computer in the, that guy's house that I could use. Come on, Boatman, take me home. Nobody cares about the Cantilave Gym. Not even Cantilave cares about the Cantilave Gym. What kind of name is Cantilave anyway? Bum bum. One thing that I find kind of funny is that in the first Pokemon game, Bill has technology that turned him into a Pokemon. And then I don't think it it, it's, it is until, like, the latest DLC of Scarlet and Violet they they even have anything kind of like that technology. And even then, that's more just like, oh, you see the world through your Pokemon's eyes. It's just kind of weird. They early on set up this technology. Yeah, people can become Pokemon. And then it's just never brought up again. You'd think that they would have done something with that information. Like, all these years later by now. Like, even for just, like, the, the Mystery Dungeon games or something. Actually, you know what? Uh, this is about time that I think I'm gonna use a Repel. Is Repel in here? Nope, Repel should be in here, I guess. Max Repel. Your life could be short if you were a Charmander in the ring. If I remember correctly, that's actually... 
not all that accurate because I believe, I forget if it's like one of those things, but I think the popular theory now is that it's like less that the tail fire is like actually the life force and more that it's just a representation of the Charmander's life force. HP up. Who am I going to give that to? I do not know. Stat increases consciously is not really a, a thing I do here. <laughs> Bill already made the PC. Why would he give another scientific <laughs> Why would he give another scientific discovery? And we have a little bit more repel somewhere else, I think. Yeah, super repel. I forgot that I bought a lot of these. That is kind of funny that, like, other regions, it's not just Bill making it. Everybody else has gotten in on the making business. Give me that egg. I will take care of it. I'd like you to show the Pokemon that's inside the egg all sorts of new places. Spending time with you is very enjoyable. I intend to test my skills in other places from now on. Let's meet again. Take care of the... Take care on your way out. Spending time with you was very enjoyable. And then just repeat the same thing. I'm gonna go deeper. <laughs> but Ash had to cover Charmander's tail to make sure it didn't die in the anime, though as a Charmeleon Charizard, it became stubborn as crap. Who knows? Then again, there was like actual earth animals early on in the anime as well. Early installment weirdness is early installment weirdness. A shiny stone. Does it mean that it... Well, this is ominous. A single Pokeball in the center of a room. Let's see. Protector. It is loved by a certain Pokemon. Magnet. It is a powerful magnet that boosts the power of electric type moves. Then I guess I'm going to give that to you, Amp. Definitely help you. Shiny Stone. Oh, nope. It uh, makes certain Pokemon evolve. I presume Gallade? Metal Coat. In Gold and Silver, Bill was still the creator of the PC. To be fair, you do go back to Kanto. But then uh, I guess Bill was too lazy to take his business elsewhere, and other people like, hey, can I sub license your technology to go forth out into the, <laughs> the universe? It is kind of funny, because again, it's just like, Bill just has a machine that turns you into a Pokemon in his house. He turns to you and says, hey, I am a Pokemon, but I am also a human. Help me, please. And then just, that's it. That's all that ever is. It's just a, a random moment, never to be commented on again. It's just very odd. Last time I saw Amp, it was a Shinx. Amp has become a badass. I wonder how many steps it'll take to open up this egg. I think, like, somewhere between a few thousand and five thousand. <laughs> and Bebe was Bill's sister. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe Bill Cipher made a PC. Just imagine the triangle. Hello, everybody, and welcome to my... PC building experiment. It just explodes. It's a it's not even a PC, it's a bomb. Until Scarlet and Violet, you've become a Pokemon in the Blueberry Academy. Because I think it was also like in the DLC for Scarlet and Violet, there is like the see the world through your Pokemon's eyes, diddly dee. You know, just to speed up the process ever so slightly. I want this egg to hatch. I long for my Lucario partner, even though he, it'll be a Rialu at first. <laughs> it's fun, but useless. It's always nice when there's, like, little things like that. Not everything needs, like, to be super-duper ingrained into the combat of the game. Sometimes a silly little thing can be fun. 
I love running around as a Lugia, though. Just fun little things like that is... It's a nice little touch. It's kind of like why in Rescue Team, when I first beat the game, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team, I didn't feel much want to, like, continue playing the to the post game because your partner Pokemon is just like, and now I will never follow you again. And then they fix that for explorers. We're like, oh, people really like their partner Pokemon. We should actually still have them be important to you. <laughs> Do love hopping around as a Magikarp. Now you can be the one who splashes. The ultimate grinding. It isn't fighting, it's hatching an egg. I wonder why they chose specifically to have Pokemon hatch from eggs. Come to think of it. I wonder why they intentionally chose that. They could have done many other things. They're like, egg. Did they like come up with the idea of an egg-based Pokemon? And then they're like, let's apply this to all Pokemon that exist. How dare that guy get in my way. I was playing as our Pokemon in DLC is the closest we'll ever get to a new PMD. I don't know. I think I heard somewhere somebody said that, like, I think it was Spike Chunsoft, the developers of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, said something about, like... Mystery Dungeon in a vague sense, I think. But I forget. <laughs> because I've been printing su uh, since birth. Maybe. It's like Mystery Dungeon, but without the mystery and the dungeon. Or falling to a Pokemon world. Although that would be kind of interesting. A Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game, where you play as a human who became a Pokemon, but like, in the human world. I think that would be interesting. You have to be like, no, I do not want to be caught. But then that would also fall into the realms of philosophy and debating on, like, do Pokemon want to be caught? <laughs> there's, like, there's so many ideas they could do with Pokemon game ideas. But it all depends on, like, what they want to do. Hello and welcome to the egg hatching stream. I want my Riolu and I want him now. I don't care how. Hatch this egg now. <laughs> Shout out to Heart Gold Soul Silver Arceus event, which is Arceus giving birth using the power of Google Slideshow. That is kind of funny. It's like. Hello, human. You got me from this event. Would you like me to create one of my children for you? Which kind of implies in some way that there's, like, more than one Dialga, Palkia, and Giratina. Also, Pokemon Legend... Oh, here we go. Not all that bad walking around, I guess. Also, Pokemon Legend Z is a big letdown. Let us go back to the Great War. They would never go back to the Great War, but we also don't know exactly what they're gonna do with, like, Legend Z. I heard a theorize that they're gonna maybe, just from the looking at it, maybe it'll be a go to the past and the future, back and forth kind of thing. Do, 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 do. Hello there, Riolu. That's a nice stance for it. And we, of course, are going to name you after the dear partner from our last Let's Play. Oh, that's completely wrong. Silas. Welcome back, old buddy, who is not actually him, but is you. And let's see, I believe you're just, yep, you're just level one. So we need to give you 
the EXP shares to get you up to speed. Actually, come to think of it, like, if you do, like, time travel in, like, Legend Z is just an entire thing to do, that could maybe handle why the tweet said, like, oh, you are entirely, it, it takes entirely in place of, in, uh, the diddly D. Because I don't fully buy that it is actually going to be fully entirely stuck within Lumio City. <laughs> From what I can tell, I think uh, when it says it takes place in Lumios, it's more like Jubilee in Pokemon Legends Arceus, but bigger. It is entirely possible. Hey there, champ to be! The gym leader here uses Steel type Pokemon. Steel type Pokemon have high defense, so you'd have to hit them hard. Yeah, I just don't see them actually having a Legends game that only takes place in a single city. Like, again, unless they do have you time travel to various different times within Lumio City to get, like, different biomes and Pokemon coming out. Because, like, it wouldn't feel like a Legends, like... Even though we've only had one Legends game, it wouldn't feel like a Legends game if you couldn't, like, sneak around bushes and <laughs> Metal Gear Solid your way to capturing Pokemon. Then again, like, an entirely urban... Inv well, would that be urban? Or suburban? I don't know. Brain is melting. But an entire, like, city-based... Just power leveling Silas. I'm terribly sorry. Hmm. Endure. Leaving it with 1 HP. It, chance of failing rises. I don't really see much use for Endure. So we'll get rid of it. Hyped for the return of Megas, though, is very cool. I never gave up, but I still failed to win. My brain went like, oh, with Mega Evolution, what if they port over Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon? Because that had, like, Mega Evolution, right? I'm gonna quickly go back to Veilstone and give Silas a massage so that he likes us more. Yeah, we'll just have to wait and see for, like, what other information we get on Legends Z. Because we just, like, we have nothing really to go on except that it takes place in Lumio City to some degree. I wonder if Xerneas and Yvatel will get new forms. Maybe. Entirely possible. would be nice for them to actually, like, get a little bit of love. <laughs> I think they said explore the mysteries of Mega Evolution, so maybe we'll see new Megas. Would be kind of a missed opportunity to not have new Megas. Like, have Flygon get a Mega Evolution finally. And, like, other things, like, blah, blah, blah. A Pokemon Gym isn't only about seeing how tough your Pokemon can be, it's so much deeper than that. It's a test of you as a person. But, like, also, like, uh... If it's a Legends game, they're also going to have, like, uh... Starters from the various different other regions... ...be in place instead of the, the normal starters for the region. And they'll probably have... ...some, uh... Mega Evolution action going on there, too. So it's just like... It feels like it would be a missed opportunity to not have... ...new 
megas going on about. I didn't expect it to go up. <laughs> up and down you go on the lifts me. I like to battle. Don't you just love how in Tyrantar Mega Evolves its spine splits so open? Well, I think they did say that, like, Mega Evolution was painful. Plus, most Pokemon in the trailer have Mega, so I think all of them will return. I wonder if the Megas from Oras will be in, though. Probably. Again, would be kind of a missed opportunity to go back to, essentially, the region of Mega Evolution and not have, like, Mega Evolution be highlighted. Will Rayquaza get a chance to shatter the competitive scene again? More than likely, it will be like, uh... Ah, I, for some reason, I thought you had Crunch. I'm cool. But like, uh... More than likely, the Mega Evolution stuff will be stuck just to Legend ZA and won't actually be exported out. It'll just be stuck to Legends. <laughs> if I had a Pokemon, I'd probably not have the heart to say no when I'm in a shop with them. They're just an adorable little thing, aren't they? Except Pinsir. Mega is just really happy he can fly now. <laughs> Mega Pinsir lives for the world. Yep, we'll probably get new regional starter forms again. Which would be very, very nice. Very nice to see. It's just that we don't really have much to go on when it comes to the information. We just know it takes place in Kalos. Major focus on Lumio City. A tweet said takes place entirely within, which just doesn't make much sense if you're going for a Legends-type game. Let's see. One is faint. An attack that hits a foe using Protector Detect. It also lifts the effects of those moves. Hmm. What about Counter? A retaliation move that counters any physical attack, inflicting double the damage taken. Hmm. Physical. So if he gets hit by a move that isn't physical, it's not much good for him. Huh. I want to keep Foresight just because I can. Force Palm is good, I think. It's definitely good. Really, I think I'd get rid of you because it's mostly... Hmm. But at the same time, it has 10 more power than Quick Attack. But has 20 less power points. But at the same time, when am I ever going to run into foes using Protect or Detect? Hmm. It just feels overly specialized. I don't think I'll go with you. You've got me feeling down! Well, take the lift, then. go all over the place. I kind of like this. This is interesting. Hello there. An ace has the knowledge and experience of battling at high levels. I'll demonstrate what that means to a noob like you. Yeah, I have a, I have a Riolu. What do you have? One Pokemon? Seiza? Caesar salad. I need to go have supper. May your food be delicious. And remember to stay hydrated. <laughs> X-Scissor, not very effective. Seem pretty effective if you ask me. Get brined on, idiot. Keep leveling, Silas. 
on 1,435 resets for shiny Groudon, so slightly over odds. Jesus. Shiny hunting seems evil. Why are there multiple floors? This seems illegal. I don't think OSHA would approve of this. Why are there just dead ends? Why are you having children use them? For some reason, my mind immediately jumped to... Uh... The Dragon Ball Z abridged. This is supposed to be a place of fun! Horrible Piccolo voice. Pokemon and people have worked together for many years. Let us show you an example of that history. But hey, Zoroark are mischievous. So if I probably said no, Coco would probably yoink it anyways. Although my input is no. <laughs> you tell your Zoroark, no, we're not gonna buy it. They disguise as you, steal your credit card, and buy it anyway. Get crunched, idiot. Yeah, I just really hope that the Pokemon company, like, lets other people do cool things with Pokemon in the future. If they just, like, go like, hey, I want to make this, I want to make a stealth Pokemon game. And like, yeah, sure. Go ahead. Yes, keep leveling, Silas. We'll annihilate this other Magnemite. <laughs> I wouldn't be mad at that point. I'd be impressed. <laughs> this makes me wonder, are there Pokemon books out there? Like, like actual books that tell, like, stories and plots and character arcs and stuff. Not just like, oh, this is a magazine, or, oh, this is a manga, but, like, actual books. Because maybe there are Pokemon books. I've just never heard of them. Yes, adventures. Yeah. A spectacular loss, but it's still a loss. Hmm. Fighting type, huh? But you probably have, like, a fighting steel type. Hmm. I'll send in Nova. <laughs> Never mind, Adventures is a manga. I am uninformed on any of these. Ah, yeah, We're coming out swinging with super heavy judo chops! You could probably name, like, something, and I'd be like, Oh, yeah, that makes sense, me, not knowing at all what's going on. Me being an uninformed fool. Close combat. Get schmiggity schmecked. Oh no, he lives. The Steelix is alive. And it decided to use Sandstorm for some reason. Like a fool. Die. Yeah, I think that Pokemon would be is missing out on the market of selling storybooks. I mean, come on, they could make Pokemon Mystery Dungeon books. Fill in, <laughs> fill in the gap between games. And honestly, I think that it, that would be like one of the Pokemon series that would actually sell well as just stories, because a lot of people really, really like the plots of the Mystery Dungeon games. And a lot of them are just like, eh, the, the gameplay is fine, it's a vehicle for this story. Then again, I'm sure there's a lot of people that do enjoy, like, the gameplay. But I feel like Mystery Dungeon worked well as just, like, story story. An all-out attack that becomes more powerful the less HP the user has. Hmm. Also, with the amount of things that can happen, I'd say that's a good idea. <laughs> It'd be cool for a series of books touching on the mysteries, uh, mis yeah, mysteries of the lore. Yeah, there's just lots that they could do. Lots they could do. 
Like, didn't they do something similar of Star Wars? I do believe so. I think I'm going to get rid of Foresight. The only, mm, the only thing that I would like from Foresight is the ability to hit evasive foes. But Reversal seems nice, because it's like an all-out attack, the less health. So, as a desperation move, could be nice. But yeah, with Star Wars, I think they had, like, the expanded universe books. Where original... Well, then again, with, with uh, Star Wars, it was mostly because the movies, like, stopped coming out for a long time. So they had books fill things in. Then then came along uh, Bibbledy Jim Disney, and they destroyed everything. Disney just decided, we annihilate God. Everything is non-canon now. By focusing on only one type, you can really see the strengths and weaknesses of that Pokemon. Meanwhile, I don't think I have a single overlapping type on my team. I'm going to kill you. But yeah, I just think that that is the only market that the Pokemon company doesn't really dive into with Pokemon. They just don't have just pure book stories. They probably have, like, mangas and stuff. I just feel like, I feel like they have a, a perfectly good opportunity to tell books, book stories. Expand upon the universe and fan favorite characters. Or just, hey, tell original stories set within the different universes. Tell a Rangers story. A Pokemon Rangers story. Return to Ore. Maybe. And again, Mystery Dungeon is probably the best they could do. For just pure, you want to tell a story, here's a universe to tell stories. I don't know, I'm not a large Star Wars fan. Me neither. I just know that the Star Wars books exist. I've seen some of the movies and played one or two of the games, but not much else. I've seen all of, like, the original trilogy, the sequel trilogy, well, prequel trilogy. I've only seen the first of Disney's trilogy. And I have, like, uh, played a few of the Star Wars games. I quite liked the Force Unleashed. The Force Unleashed games. They were fun. Where you played as Darth Vader's secret apprentice. But yeah, with just, like, the amount of Pokemon fanfiction there is. They could just... They, there is a very much a market for Pokemon book stories. I've seen the original trilogy and Revenge of the Sith. I remember Unleashed. Unleashed was fun. It was a nice, simple game. And then they just had to end the second game on a cliffhanger. Just pure sadness. My focus was too narrow-minded. You literally only had one Pokemon. You had three Pokemon, but only one Pokemon. You dig? I played that in Battlefront 2. I don't think I played the original Battlefront 2 been a long time. Hmm. I probably should have brought more, like, paralyzed heals. And honestly, didn't expect to have that many. <laughs> I have two, precisely two paralyzed heals. Hmm. Power point up. I don't know if I want to use those. Carbos, it raises the base speed of a single Pokemon. 
the base speed. Considering you're probably going to be a glass cannon, I'm gonna raise, raise your base speed. Who else should have a good base speed? Hmm. I'm gonna give it, give them both to Silas. <laughs> Specifically the EA one. I think I played, oh, that one I played I think a little bit. Not bad at all, just kind of, uh... It definitely felt like they ripped out their predatory monetization, though. You can definitely feel it. Well, I guess there's not much else, let's just fight. Ah, that's Orberg's gym badge. I see, I see. You've defeated my son. But that's no surprise, he still has much to learn. In place of my son Roar, Guy Byron will take your challenge. Okay, this is actually kind of interesting. The first gym leader's dad is now gonna fight us. And he only has three Pokemon. You bitch. You total irrevocable motherfucker. Get surfed on, idiot. Of course, you survived. <laughs> and it was the version of, like, all the things unlocked. Yeah, <laughs> because, again, they removed all the monetization. And brine. I think if you opened with an electric attack, you would have annihilated Lancelot. He's, I think, steel water now. You would have, you would have annihilated him in every single way. You're gonna send out a Steelix? Hmm. I think I'll keep Lancelot out. It's been a long time since I played the EA Battlefront 2. I think it's because, uh, like I played it decently for a bit, then I stopped, and then I heard that it got like overwhelmed with hackers. Yeah, he's the only steel water type. Hmm. Very cool. Bastiodon. Let me guess. Earth steel type. You definitely look like that. Oh, what's this? My last one. This is where we make our stand. Sir. I got it like two months ago because I got an Xbox. Neat. Meanwhile, I'm only, uh, the games that I've been playing recently on my time is, uh, buh, 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 Helldivers 2. It's on PC as well as Sony's thing. We're not done yet. There's no giving up. Brine. It's a fun time. Helldivers 2. I could probably play it more, but I think this is, that there's so much that I need to do. <laughs> I want to write. I want to draw. I want to play games. Yeah. Now Brain went, hey, you should do a writing stream. It's just like, I can't do that. That would be spoilers. And no, like, and nobody would really care, probably. My sturdy Pokemon defeated. I sweeped you and you never even hit me. He never hit my Pokemon. He lowered my stats once and that was it. A friend of mine has been talking a lot about that. Helldivers 2, I presume. It is a fun time. It is definitely one of those you should play with friends games. But the quick matchmaking is uh, definitely a fun enough time. I, I just need to actually get the courage to play the higher difficulties. Uh, I've mostly been holding down the front against the automaton ma machine empire. <laughs> you were strong enough to take down my prized team of Pokemon, which was three Pokemon that didn't even hit your Pokemon once. In recognition of that power, I give you this. The Mind Badge. That reminds me of a, a joke where a... Like a... Like a miner, as in a person who goes to the mines, is driving on his way to work, and a police officer pulls him over and angrily talks to him. He's like, like, 
Who are you? Where are you going? Whose car is this? Mine. Having the mine badge enables you to use the hidden move strength anytime outside of battle. And now you have six gym badges. That means all Pokemon up to level 70 will obey you without question. Here, take this too. <laughs> That's a terrible name for a badge. <laughs> That TM-91 can change the move Flash Cannon. If it hits, it may also lower the target's special defense. And now I leave you. Goodbye. I think this means that we can go through... Uh... Buh, buh, buh. Can go through Mount Coronet now. Oh, Neon, you've beaten the gym leader. Good going, that makes it to six gym badges. I tell you what, you're really turning into one fine trainer. If you were to say you're going to try to become the Pokemon champ, no one laugh at you now. I'm in your corner, kiddo. Hey, that's the mind badge. Good going. You're tough enough to consider becoming the Pokemon champ. Of course, I'm tougher, so it's not going to actually happen. Anyway, Neon, uh, come with me to the library. There's Pokemon porn in there. Well, first I'm going to heal my Pokemon. And then we'll mostly probably just be power leveling Silas so that we can actually goddamn use him. Beep, boop, boop. And then we'll probably also have to decide what Pokemon we're willing to sacrifice uh, by giving the strength t uh, HM to. Let's see, who should we put in front now? Probably Nova. <laughs> Zero to a hundred real quick! Too slow! Come on, let's move it! He teleported is what he did. Isn't there like a rule? No running in the library? No burying in the library? Hey, Neon, over here, this way! Oh, hey, it's the professor. Okay, Gramps, I brought Neon like I said. All right, I'll be out of here. <laughs> okay, I get it. Hmm. Everyone's here finally. Neon, everyone listen. You may have forgotten already, but I studied the evolution of Pokemon. But the more I study, the more mysteries appear and multiply. Pokemon that evolve and those that don't, what makes them different from each other? Do those that are, are immature as living beings evolve to ones more mature? If so, what do we make of the legendary Pokemon that don't evolve? Are we to assume that legendary Pokemon are complete as creatures? This is where you three come in. In the Three Lakes of Sinnoh, there are said to be Mirage Pokemon. If we can obtain data on them, it may shed some light on how the process of Pokemon evolution works. I need help from each of each one of you on this grand undertaking. Help me find these Pokemon that are considered to be Mirages. What are you saying? I didn't get a Pokedex. And who was it that bolted from the lab before I had a chance to give you a Pokedex? But that's water under the bridge. Seeing Pokemon with your own eyes is important for you in becoming a better trainer too. You bet, Professor. This will add to, this will add to the Pokedex database and help advance your research. Hmm. I would have made all of you go regardless. Anyway, now there are three lakes. Fortuitously, there are three of you. You should therefore split up and investigate the lakes individually. Lucas, you go to Lake Verity. Yes, sir. Barry, I want you to investigate Lake Acuity. That would take you almost to Snow Point City. The road there is harsh. I need a tough trainer to go. Uh, yeah, of course, Gramps. You know how to call it. Uh, you can tell I'm the hottest. And uh, you know what? I was going to catch those legendary Pokemon for you. You know, as thanks for giving us our Pokemon back on Route 201, even though I completely forgot uh, about it up until just now. Very well. I'm counting on you. I'm going to catch those Pokemon first. I mean, I caught them in the past. <laughs> Again, I don't know if we ca canonically have, like, any information on Akari <laughs> from 
Legends Arceus. She fell to the fell to Hisui. Is she Don? Is she not? Barry makes me feel unreasonably mad. He just bothers me because he keeps putting me in debt. <laughs> Gotta go for a moment. I'll be back, though. May whatever it is you go to do go good. Leon, I want you to go to Lake Vala. The lake is between Veilstone and Pestoria, if memory serves. Another fucking bomb? Has it stopped? All of you unharmed. What was that about? No, wait, I mean the TV! The TV knows anything! Terrorism in Sinnoh. Are they going to actually say anything? What you've just witnessed is actual footage from the scene. It was taken by a cameraman who happened to be there. It's certainly impressive. Who knows what that explosion could expose at the lake? Cramps, they said it was an explosion? Hmm, but why at Lake Valor? Let's get outside. I'm concerned about the town. You kids be careful going down the stairs. Meanwhile, Barry just zoops. Neon, you should leave now, too. There may be aftershocks, however. Be alert always. I'm feeling wobbly. Even though the trimmer is ended, my knees still feel like jelly. But was that an earthquake? I didn't imagine it. The trimmer. It was wicked. I scrambled to find a book disaster strike survival guide. You don't deserve to survive a disaster. Uh, hello, this is the Candlelight Library. Please keep quiet while you're on the premises. It certainly wasn't me who screamed. Gah! Or shouted, help me! No, really, that wasn't me screaming. <laughs> that tremor, that wasn't a natural occurrence. Hey, hey, old dude and kids, did you hear? They're saying there was a huge explosion at Lake Valor. But I hear everything's fine now. I guess it was just a lot of noise. Gramps, I'm going. I have a bad feeling about this. That Barry can't sit still. Leon, I don't like to demand, but I need you to at Lake Valor. It's impossible for things to be okay, not after an explosion like that. But I have no idea what is taking place. But before you go, let me stress, don't get in over your head. We will try to join you as soon as we inspect Lake Veretti. Lake Valor, I wonder what happened. Either it was an explosion or, if it, or it was earth-shattering sex. The trim earlier was no quake. It seems like a mysterious explosion. I keep forgetting to get that guy a drink. Let me go to my bag. Go to my map. Lake Verity. Lake Valor. God, that like it would make sense if the explosion happened at Verity. But Lake Valor is all the way over there. Hmm. Hmm. I think we should have all that we need to, like, access... Like, most of Mount Coronet, I think. If I wanted to, I could probably begin searching for Feebas. If I really, really wanted to. Well, actually, no, we need to keep leveling up Nova. Because if I remember correctly, it's just on basement one, but I don't know how to get to it. Oh, hey, Pokeball. A rare candy. I wonder if the Poketch guy will give me uh, another Poketch. Do, 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 do. The effort to happen all the way at Lake Valor seems crazy. Because we'll be ready when you have seven gym badges. This guy's just a master at being able to just theorize when he's going to have it done. 
In fact, I want to quickly see. Which one of my Pokemon can learn? Oh yeah, like, uh, let's see. There's Shadow Ball. Shadow Claw. Ooh, it says power 70. Oh, it's a ghost move. Interesting. I think that's like the first ghost move that I have access to. Hmm. Shadow Ball seems better. 15 power point, 80 PP. Versus... Oh, but like one special one is that. Yeah, I gotcha. Flash Cannon. It's a steel type. Let's see. Hmm. Amp can learn it. I guess not the worst thing to be like... Get rid of uh, Thunder Fang because... Thunder Fang is just spark, but a chance to miss and maybe like flinch. So I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna miss out much for getting rid of Thunder Fang. I just hope that I don't. Uh, but that also means I'll need to give somebody Rock Smash as well, which is a purely useless move for me. Like, I guess I could give it to Lancelot. Because, um, but maybe I should give it to Silas. Let's see. Spread around the use of moves. But let's see. Reversal, Force Palm, Counter... Because with... Hmm. Because I don't want to get rid of, like, Metal Claw on Lancelot. Because he's finally a Steel-type. Let's see. Rock Smash, Counter, Force Palm, Reversal. Like, I guess I could get rid of Quick Attack? I guess I'll get rid of counter for Rock Smash. Because I don't think I'm ever going to make proper use of Rock Smash. There we go. The only thing missing now is Defog, of which I think the only person that can learn Defog on my team is... Alright, Lancelot could. But I don't think I want to get rid of any of Nova's moves. Because Nova's moves are Double Team, Fly, Close Combat, and Aerial Ace. And Double Team could come in clutch. Maybe. So I don't want to get rid of it. Hmm. But since we're going to a cave, I guess we could bring in... Oh, well, we might as well fight you while I'm here. I do like the idea of just, like, a singular spawning Pokemon battle in... the Pokemon Center a day. I do kind of like it. Get screamed at, idiot. Get blasted, idiot. And how dare you hurt me if you're aftermath. That's illegal in 50 counties. Well, I think that we'll be able to survive a Luxio. Close combat! Get annihilated, Luxio. You thought like, oh, you're an electric type. You're gonna fight a bird, then you lose. Idiot. Fool. Another meringue you are. The media is the victim.
Why do you say that? Why is that your 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 losing catchphrase? Bop. Bop, 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 bop. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. And we shall put Nova away. And take out Defog. Because if I recall... Where are you, Defog? If I do recall... When I was reading up, in fact, what did you miss? Let's see. Like, everything just blends together for me, but I do believe that we beat up uh, Rourke's dad at the Steel Gym. We met up with Barry, who took us to the Cantilave Library, and we met with Rowan, Professor, who wanted us to check out the Three Lakes for the Legendary Pokémon, only to learn that, like, an explosion happened at one of the lakes, that, like, shook the entirety of the entire region. And now I'm debating if we should be capable of catching a Feebas by now or not. Let's see, how many revives do we have? We have nine revives. Hmm. I guess I'll get some full heals now that I can afford it. Do, 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 do. We'll buy some escape ropes just because we can. And some max repels because we can. We're rich. Oh yeah, we can also sell things. But yeah, right now I'm just wondering if I am capable of being able to just go and grab a Feebas or not. Because, like, I still want a Feebas, but the fact is that, like, it is a water type, so I'm not sure if I really should try and get a Feebas. It's just like, it's a whole thing. Hmm. So I guess maybe I shouldn't go. It's like, because I do want a Melodic, but I can't really... If I wanted to use a Melodic, I should have chosen, like, Chimchar or something as my starter. Sadness. It's the one downside of, like, Pokemon games. Where they're like, ooh, here's a Pokemon that's in the late game. And then, like, but by then you have your team and you don't want to devote time to, like, leveling up and training that other Pokemon. It's just, like, it's a whole thing. Then again, I guess it's like... I don't know. Oh, let's see. I don't, I don't think we've had a fight for dear Silas, and these should be low level. Very low level. <laughs> hey Silas, beat up this child. Why are you intimidated by that look? Quick attack! Your first kill, Silas. But now that we have the strength HM, we can just explore around places. Schmeggity schmack him. Because you can. Of course, the last one gets me. Yes, yes, yeah. Yeah, you see, a shinx of a Tommy gun. Get obliterated. You're just... <laughs> the only reason we annihilated you is because you deserved it. I probably should have just used fly. I don't know why I'm running. 
I think it was because my brain was like, ah, we can <laughs> smack up some of these low-level Pokemon with Silas. Well, I guess we can use our limited Force Palm, just because we can. There's a town right up ahead. Force Palm time. Talk to the hand. I wonder if we can go up to Rourke and be like, we beat up your dad. Give us all your money now. <laughs> all your money belongs to us. Because we beat up your dad. Ding, ding, ding. Doo, doo, doo. I guess it's getting to the point that I probably should... Just have, like, the map be my default. But I am curious to see, like, how far we can get inside Mount Coronet. <laughs> Did you go to Lake Valor? Not yet. I'm gonna get that ball. I'll see, like, what floor we actually are on. How dare a Zubat be high and powerful. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, a protein. Perfect. Well, then we'll probably fly to Lake Valor. Yeah, because I do I want a melodic, but not much point of getting melodic. Sadness. Zubat's not even really worth killing because it's a first evolution. First, what is this one called? <laughs> Just Mount Coronet. Not even a floor. But we shall fly. We'll quickly stop by Pastoria City and then run up there because we can to Valor City. Stop by the footprint guy. See how much Silas hates me? You have anything to say about the marsh being destroyed? Nope. I wonder where, how Crusher Wake is doing. I guess the I guess the Great Marsh is perfectly fine again. I'm curious now. Did the did your puzzle reset? If it's if it's not, I'd like to talk to you, Crasher. Dang it. I guess we just know nothing about what happened to the Great Marsh. I just realized, I don't think I took, like, that route between uh, this city and Hartholm. I, I don't think I've taken that route yet, so there's probably Pokemon trainers to kill. Yo, footprint guy. Speak to me, you weirdo. <laughs> Apparently, he, <laughs> we just super leveled him enough that he's like super, super happy. One of these levels. Actually, if we level <laughs> level him up, he might actually be just like perfectly <laughs> able to evolve into a Lucario, despite us only having him for a day. That is hilarious. Yeah, because this game's clock says eight is night, not seven, even though it's dark out. Hmm. We'll fight some of these people. Who should we fight? Let's fight you. What should I have today? Juice, ice cream, cake, and a... Oh, hi, trainer. Want to battle Pokemon with us before we have a yummy meal? I probably should have swapped out Silas before this, because you're probably going to have... Once again, y 
you look like an old man child. Oh, I did swap him out. I'm a fool, because these are actually perfectly level for him. <laughs> Lucario needs day to evolve. Right. <laughs> Ain't that just a weird little thing? Just for some reason. Wait a minute. For some reason, I thought you were part ground. But why would that stop flying type of attacking him? I'm an idiot. I am a fool. It's like my brain mixes up, like, typings and their effects on each other if I'm not, like, super duper aware. I am a fool. And there's really no reason to swap in Silas because it's just a Pichu. He needs photosynthesis. He is the Super Lucario from the planet Lucario. It's still impressive how Pachirichu says, or sounds like it says its name. Like you can vaguely hear it in its voice line. Get confused. Get confused, little guy. I beat up a child. All your children are dead. I don't get it. Grown-ups always have a toast before eating. What's that for? And I don't see any bread. Well, let's see. It's because they're all having a heart attack simultaneously. By my calculations, the main dish should have arrived by now. Perhaps the thermal setting is too low to prepare the food efficiently. You there. Let's battle. I'll kill you. Now, I kind of do wonder what, like... Buh, buh, buh. What Superman would look like drawn as a Lucario. Abs for days. And Force Palm. X special all you want, you're still gonna die. Wants to move Screech. We're not going to learn Screech. I am kind of disappointed that we're going to not have... That we're just going to have uh, the Riolu for so short a period of time. Again, I feel like... Oh, of course you get a critical hit, you bastard. Die. I do feel like... We should have been able to get Riolu quicker in this game so that we could enjoy our time with him more. Like we're over halfway through the game and that's when we get him. And then at this point we just power level him. But you have to power level him so that he's useful. Well that just means you don't get to have Riolu long. I want to see Art of Riolu holding leaves and wearing a flower hat, clinging to its trainer. Seems pretty specific, but seems also adorable. Get quick attacked, idiot. Man, that was a critical hit. I fear for your stats, Silas. I mean, I do get it. You're still kind of low level even compared to them. Well, you're a lower level than them. <laughs> the true evolution method. A hippie Riolu. I fail to foresee this outcome. You know, I had confidence before heading into this. Have no confidence, never. They brought the main course while we were battling. The calorie content appears to be alarmingly high. 
Wow, this food looks really fancy. Papa is a rotten cook, so we can go out and eat food like this. Did you come to this restaurant to battle Pokemon? Now I wonder what it would be like if there was a... Like... I wonder what it would be like if there was a Pokemon game where you had, like... No say in what your team was. Like, the game already, like, has you playing as, like, somebody else. Like, it's not you, technically. You're playing as a named character going about their own story. They have their own team. And then they could just have, like, the evolutions be story-based. Are you gonna survive, Silas? Reversal that Bronzor. Don't die. Get reversed, idiot. I feel like... Uh, I hate that it's psychic steel. It's more steel than anything else. How dare you exist in my world. Bronzor is just such a stupid Pokemon. Your typings make no sense. You're ugly. Die. Oh, like the XD starting. I don't know. You start with two Pokemon at level 30. Well, if a Colosseum, yeah. Kind of like that, but more like, uh... <laughs> kind of like a more typical RPG. Where instead of catching Pokemon, the Pokemon are kind of like your party members working alongside you. They have dramatic cutscenes in which they evolve. So kind of like, uh... If the anime, in a way, was a video game, but not like Pokemon Yellow... Where your Pokemon actually evolve at key story moments to save the day. I just think that'd be neat. Just think it would be interesting. I guess we shall forgo doing more. We'll just head to the Lake of Valor. And we'll go a bit longer, and then we'll probably end. It feels like we both did a lot and haven't done a lot, and it's just like... We've been going for uh, two hours now, heading on to three. I need to play Gales of Darkness at some point. So many games. So many games. Now my brain went for, like, Pokemon Coliseum. Instead of having Rui or whatever her name was, your Espeon is the reason why you can see Shadow Pokemon. They just blew up this entire place. How dare they? <laughs> Next stop, Lake Verity! The closest civilization is that hick town called Twinleaf. We can roll in there completely unopposed! You don't care? A Magikarp is weakly flopping about. Why didn't your other guy fight me? Would you like to join the Magikarp and flop all around in the mud? Silly fool, you're the one who's gonna flop around like a fish. Galactic Grunt. Where do they even get all these glam meows? I have yet to run into one in the wild. Are they just importing the glam meows? Are these just house cats? That they're just... holding hostage? It's like, go, Thunder Clan. You will die a horrible death. 
Your death will be so horrible it'll even be called terrible. Overwhelming. Not really. I just kicked your ass. We set up the galactic bomb. Its blast force was phenomenal. <laughs> Glamiao is game exclusive. I can't believe that Team Galactic has the exclusive game. I do like the Galactic Battle theme. It's just nice and bumpy. Get blasted. And you know what? Another part of me realizes why I really like Le Pokemon Legends Arceus. It's because it kind of allows you to play around with a bunch more Pokemon. Yeah, it used to exist in all of them. They just caught them all to extinction. <laughs> I'll punish you in place of our boss for defying Team Galactic. But yeah, like, with, with Pokemon Legends Arceus, like, how the game functions just makes it so that you can, like, play with more Pokemon than you can in a normal Pokemon game. Because... Filling out the Pokedex, catching Pokemon, fighting Pokemon all leads into a gameplay loop where you can really level up lower Pokemon. It also feels like there's more to do in Legends Arceus to me. Hmm. Indigo. Oh, I should not have sent out Indigo. I really should not have. I don't know why. My brain, like was going for at first, like, hmm, who should I send out against this Stunky? Which then transitioned to, who should I send out? And then landed on, is like, oh, Indigo, we haven't used you in a while. I am a fool. Bing, 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 bing. Get sparked, idiot. You gonna send out Hound Dower? Hmm. I would like to send out Silas, but he's still too low level, even if it is against a dark type. Get screamed at. Yeah, because it's like. 10 levels higher than him, even with special advantage. Remember to stay hydrated, everybody. Get obliterated, idiot. And you're gonna send out another glam meow? Well, I'll send out my own cat dog thing. Get bit, idiot. Nom. And Silas leveled up again. Okay, I took the punishment. The real question is, why does this lake have built-in stairs? Oh, you don't want to fight me? What do you want? You're investigating the explosion, but it doesn't matter who you are. Too late to make any difference. Things are going to get really interesting now. All the legendary Pokemon are going to be brought to our HQ in Veilstone. But how can you capture them when I need to capture them? And I am now reminded once again of yet another one of my Pokemon fanfiction ideas. Even Team Galactic has no use for Magikarp. Worthless, all of them. 
Yeah, I guess since it's probably a long ways away until I actually tell that story, basically, the idea is the overarching story in the background is that Team Galactic, for some reason, Cyrus fell to Hisui and is trying to implement his plan in the past. I think that'd be interesting. I checked the breeding compatibility of every Pokemon on my team uh, to Missino. Turns out Missino has its own egg group. Hmm. Because I know that it has, like, the bird type in Generation 1. I wonder if that might affect anything. God, I want to use you, Silas, but you're still so low level. The mission is proceeding. Are you Cyrus? I don't think you're Cyrus. The mission is proceeding without a hitch. The boss should be pleased. Everything is for everyone and for the good of Team Galactic. I recognize your face. You're the child who raided the Team Galactic building in Eterna. Huh. Jupiter should be ashamed of herself being beaten by a child. But anything in anyone that opposes Team Galactic must be crushed. Even the very thought of opposition will not be tolerated. <laughs> Pokedex completionist. Magikarp is very useful. Time to kill a planet. I can't believe Dawn from Pokemon Platinum is planetary level. Get sparked, idiot. Oh, looks like uh, I think my YouTube uh, had a small dip there for a second. My YouTube stream. You're gonna send out Toxicroak? I'll send out Indigo. Now I'm wondering what, like, the power scaling for the Mystery Dungeon universe is like. That'd be an interesting thing to calculate, but I am dumb. Oh, you're gonna send out a motherfucking Bronzor? I'm gonna send out Lancelot. Bronzor is an evil Pokemon who deserves to be hunted to extinction. You're just like an ancient coin. Nobody loves you, Surf. Iron defense all you want. You're in brine range now. Brine range. Get brined on, idiot. You looks like you got pickled. You, my friend, are tough. I can see why you defy us so. Guy, even I, Commander, only managed to buy us time. But that's fine. A child like you will never be able to stem the flow of time. Team Galactic will get the three legendary Pokemon of the lakes. With their power, we will create an entirely new universe. By now, Mars should have captured the Pokemon of Lake Verity. And then she just teleported out. How oh, very rude. All the stuff of the minions I fought. Hey, Cynthia, where are you? They bombed the lake. But they said Lake Verity, right? Which is yep, down there. Gotta go home before they bomb home. Mine, I'm gonna head out. Thank you very much for spending some time with me. And hope whatever rest or whatever else you decide to do goes well. 
Mom, you're not even gonna tell us about the explosion? <laughs> Got a pissy bird to feed. Made the feeding make the bird less pissy. But Lake Verity! Are you being held captive? Ah, uh, Neon, what timing! These Team Galactic scoundrels are after the legendary Pokemon! Neon, help us! You've got to help Lucas! Ouch! What's this old timer? Hmm. The perfect team, a psychic. And a dark type. <laughs> ah, you'll be back. Fight me, fools! It is our mission to stall you. Sorry, but we got a job to do. In order for us to bring peace to the world, we must control it. How about you control these nuts? Your team is very much uh, imbalanced. Prepare to die. Psychic. Nom nom. How dare you fake out? That is illegal. Die. More leveling for Silas. Last him. Nom him. Don't you sucker punch the waifu boy. Get blasted. Mind blast the fool. Get nommed on, idiot. Congratulations, you, uh, supersonic the one that was uh, the least dangerous to you. You idiot. You m fucking baroon. You buffoon. A boom, boom. Do, do, do. Magical leap because we can, and bite because we can. Quit hitting yourself, goddammit. That should be illegal. That's gonna, like, annihilate you. Sorry, Indigo. We're playing it too fast and loose. Fast and loosey goosey in here. Get sparked and bit. Turn into dark turkey. Then again, I don't think I've ever heard of anybody ever actually eating crow for like hunting purposes. Losing was a part of my job too. I feel better by saying that. You're too young to understand. Or maybe you're too old to explain properly. Have you ever thought of that? Have you ever thought that maybe you Galactics are just too old? And we can wage war from our hometown. <laughs> Rest a bit, go back. Throw them onto their Galactic Bomb. How did they even get the ingredients to make a bomb like this? Like, I know they have like a whole HQ and stuff, but still. They don't have guns. Don't they regulate other things in this world? I like how they're sorry. You're too young, kid, to work for us. That's true. I'll knock your Pokemon into orbit! If this mission is successful, we will get a nice bonus. <laughs> they have standards. They won't hire the person that's kicking their ass.
Yeah, we should probably swap you out. Come on in, Nova! Scream at him. Scream at him good. Waha, you fool. You thought that you were doing good, but you did bad. Oh, so you have a clam meow. Interesting. Thank you for informing me. You utter buffoon. <laughs> Lancelot is my favorite country leader. He would lead England to a better future. Get aerial aced. You fool. You buffoon. And now comes in the Hound Dower. And the Glam Meow. Do, 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 do. Close combat! We beat up the dog. You ever see a bird suplex a dog? I decide this weekend. I'm going to post a ZA prediction on official Pokemon forums, and whatever they take down is what will happen. I don't think that's how that works. Hmm, copycat. Mimics a move immediately before you... T <laughs> immediately before it. Eh, not really useful. Not really. Like, unless you, you know that, like, you can go first, and then they'll go second in, like, a double battle... My mind is going orbital! Here goes our bonus. This is an epic tragedy. And then suddenly the wild Pokemon have joined! Team Galactic side! How could you do this, Bidoof? You are meant to be the hero! Team Galactic, they took the Pokemon of the lake. This woman, I lost to her, but just barely. That face, it brings me back bad memories. I'm talking about the Windworks. I caught a whole lot of trouble for that little incident. What's with that look on your face? You do remember me, don't you? Fine, whatever, I'll tell you who I am again. I'm Mars, one of Team Galactic's commanders. So what is it? Are you some lovey-dovey couple to the rescue? Not a chance, not even a teeny one, you're all going down. Gerbert! From the power of Amp Plains, we shall annihilate you. Now my brain went... Wouldn't it be interesting if there was, like, some kind of symbiotic relationship between, like, the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon world and, like, the normal Pokemon world? Like, if you die in the normal world, you get sent to the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon world as, like, a... Blah, blah, blah. What's the word? A reincarnation without your memories? I think it would be interesting. Get sparked, idiot. But it also means you're going to be sending out your skunk tank in a moment, isn't it? But I'm not afraid of you. My team is far more powerful than you can imagine, boss. Of course you're going to use Confuse Ray, because you're a bitch. Someone's not heard of the saving if Nintendo takes it down, it's canon. I can't believe 
that that one evolution porn comic is canon. Oh no, it's oh yeah, I forgot it was a perugly, not a skunk tank. Spark. If I say Xerneas and Yevatel get new forms and they take it down, it means it's happening. I think that's like generic enough speculation that they wouldn't take it down even if it was true. Although that makes me think that, like, wouldn't it be funny if they took it down just because that confirms that that means that Xerneas and Yevatel were in at all? It's not even that they're in there, it's just that you guess, or like, it's not even that they get new forms, it's just that they're in the game at all. What if I claim I'm a leaker? Well, really, that's just... <laughs> it really doesn't even matter at all, because, like, one person will just be like, I theorize this will happen. Then the main line news groups will be like, oh, somebody said this. And then it becomes like everybody's canon. Again and again. Oh, and he's evolving after witnessing a grand battle. That's the Pinocchio nose theory. Well, it's not truly accurate. You can't just ask Pinocchio to say yes or no to questions he doesn't know the answers to. It's only about his moral compass, not his factual <laughs> factualness of, in relation to the universe. <laughs> I lost again. So first the wind works, and now Lake Faraday that I owe you for. This shouldn't be happening, a Team Galactic's commander. Calm down, Mars. I've done my part in all this. My mission was to transport the lake's Pokemon to our HQ. That's right, I accomplished my mission without a problem. Team, we're pulling out. The boss is waiting at the HQ. The Pokemon of the Three Lakes are connected somehow. Thanks to Saturn's grandstanding in the, at Lake Valor, a cavern appeared here. It was the cavern where the Pokemon Mesprit slept. Mesprit appeared too, probably to go help its friends. That worked out all too well for us. It was super easy to catch. So now we've got them all. Mesprit, the being of emotion. Azelf, the being of willpower. Yuxi, the being of intelligence. Now that we have them all, you can look forward to what plans Team Galactic has for them. I see. This also occurred at Lake Valor. Another legendary Pokemon was taken away by Team Galactic. Both of you went up against full-fledged criminals. The fact that you're unharmed is reason enough to celebrate. But what about Barry? What is happening at Lake Acuity? Is Barry safe? Obviously the game is pushing me to go to Lake Acuity. <laughs> he could just say his nose grows when it tells the truth. Yeah, but it depends. It doesn't matter on Pinocchio's overall knowledge of factualness of the universe. So it'd be more like if Pinocchio says that Yelvatel and Xerneas get alternate forms in Legend ZA, but he believes that they don't, then his nose would grow. Doesn't confirm factualness, just confirms that he doesn't believe things. Wailord is in the same egg category as Skitty. Yep. The good old meme. The meme that conquers all. Well, I guess we'll go to Celestic Town. kind of disappointed we didn't have Riolu for long, but hey, let's fight this guy. As a clown, I like to show up Pokemon that are a little out of the ordinary. Want to battle and see for yourself? Okay, how should we do this? Shall we do something fantastical? Of course you throw out a Mr. Mime when I'm throwing out Silas. You utter bastard. Now I'm going to send in Shine to annihilate you for your sins. Mm -hmm. 
doesn't affect me, idiot, but I affect you, nom. It's super effective. You only have psychics, you fuck. Kill. Kill for his sins against reality. Oh, no, 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 ma! Laugh in the face of death. But it feels like a lot has happened this stream. And I do believe that we will leave it here. It's the perfect kickoff point. We need to go to Lake Acuity next time. Maybe even do like the gym up there. Just lots to do next time. We got our Lucario. Again, kind of disappointed that he didn't stay a Riolu longer because it's that whole dichotomy of him actually being useful. So you need to power level him. We fought a lot of Team Galactic today. We fought a lot of Steel types today. Iron Island doesn't feel like that deep of a place. People just go there for seemingly no reason. Team Galactic was there for seemingly no reason. For some reason also, a lot of people just vastly underestimated Team Galactic except for like Looker. He was the only one that seemed to take Galactic seriously. And they got a bomb, they blew up a marsh, and still they're like, oh, I just thought they were troublemaker psychos. The people of this place are silly. But we roughly have our main team. Again, I would like to get a Melodic, but that's a lot of effort to get a type redundant Pokemon. Eh. I was gonna say, maybe next time, but the next time is Yanova. And they specifically went out their way to only have new Pokemon for the main game. And it's only until post-game when <laughs> old Pokemon start showing up. It is 7.45. We still have 45 minutes. No, we don't. I don't have, like, a set amount of time that I stream. I just go by the vibes. And I feel like this is a good time to end it, because we can then go up a bit of Mount Coronet, head up to Lake Acuity next time. Like, again, it feels like a lot happened. It's all about the vibes. There are more Pokemon in Black 2, White 2, at least. Yeah. Yeah, usually two to four hours, and we are almost at three hours now, so literally in the middle of that. But yeah, we went to Iron Island, we got an egg, we hatched an egg, we power-leveled the Riolu that came out of the egg, beat up the Steel Gym, Rourke's dad, I already forget his name, Byron, I think? I, it's kind of interesting that, like, surprise, it's Rourke's dad. And it's just like, none of these people are characters. <laughs> Stream usually ends at 8.30ish. <laughs> we can go Feebas hunting. Yeah, but that means going into Cal uh, Mount Coronet and doing fishing. It's like, this is just a nice place to end it, because we got story. And there was like a lot of story there. And there's more story that we can then springboard into next time. So it just feels nice. The vibes are good. But yeah, it does feel like we have our main team. I don't think there are any other Pokemon that I'd want to slot in. Again, if I actually planned things out, I probably would have gone with Chimchar to begin with to then get, like, Melodic later down the line. That would then replace a Float Soul that I probably would have had by then. But yeah, next time we will probably go and see Barry get his ass kicked at Lake Acuity. And they'll be like, Mwahaha, we already have the Pokemon. It was sent to HQ. And then we'll probably, uh, more than likely, invade Galactic HQ. Maybe even through the back, because maybe somebody will drop a key card and we can be like, Hey, Looker, we have a key card. It's like, now let us invade the enemy from the rear. And then we'll blow up Team Galactic's HQ with a Galactic Bomb and commit Galactic Genocide against criminals everywhere. Yeah, this is fun. I do find it interesting, though, that, again, Lucario is so late into the game. I just feel like it would have been 
cool if it was a bit earlier in. <laughs> Probably will laugh at you for being unable to rock climb. Probably. We don't have <laughs> the ability to rock climb yet. It's not my fault. The Pokemon government has it tied behind an HM, probably. And they don't have rental Pokemon for rock climbing yet. That's probably later generations. Unless they just did away with it entirely. In entirely? Entirely. <laughs> but yes. We are, I presume, kind of nearing the end. Because we have two more badges to get. It's ramping up the story to kind of go along with that. And I don't know which will happen first, the end of the story or the Pokemon League. No, in this kind of game, like, you'd think that the Pokemon League would be, like, really secondary because it's just like, the world is in danger now. There's psychopaths with bombs br capturing a bunch of legendary Pokemon trying to create their own universe. I think that's another reason why I kind of like Legends Arceus more than the main games. Because every Pokemon game needs to shoehorn in, like, the League Challenge. And they're also trying, like, and here's this evil team that's trying to destroy the world. At least with the first two games, it kind of made sense because it was just, you're a kid going on a journey with your Pokemon to take on the Elite Four. Oh no, the Mafia. So it kind of made sense for, like, a kid with his uh, special partner Pokemon to lay the beat down on simple criminals. But then, once you get to, like, Hoenn, it's, We're gonna flood the world. We're going to create more land. Oh no, the legendary Pokemon is actually destroying everything. Feels a... And, and then they just kind of run away. Yeah, Hoenn's story isn't the best. <laughs> But with, like, Legends Arceus, it's just like, you have clear goals. I'm gonna go Feebas hunting. <laughs> you will be... Either Feebas will be the easiest shiny of your life, or it will be the hardest. There is no in-between. But, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to play Legends Arceus again on stream. I streamed it once before, and it has, like, all of my normal, like, reactions to everything. Which is kind of the downside of having played it before. I can't experience it again. Not as it once was, but eh, that's a thing to think about, maybe. <laughs> I already found a shiny Feebas. Of course you did. <laughs> but yes. Next time we will go check in on Barry, see how he's doing at Lake Acuity. And then go from there, see if we can get a gym badge or two. But yes, thank you very much for joining me tonight, everybody. If you want more from me, my link tree, linktr.ee slash neonicywings, has links to everything I do, like edited content YouTube videos, the archives of these streams, or the live streams themselves at Twitch or YouTube as well as the various arts that I do create and try to create, like most recently, my Cresselia Pokemon Mystery Dungeon meme picture, which has just popped off on Tumblr by my standards, which is cool. Tumblr enjoys my silly Pokemon meme. But yes, like Tumblr, DeviantArt, Newgrounds, Blue Sky, post all the various places. Direct link in my link tree. Other such things is my writing with links to my writing resources to read all the stories that I have doth wrote so far and need to write more of. Brain is evil. And the only other thing in my link tree is my Patreon, which is just a tip jar for kind-hearted individuals to throw me a dollary do or so to brighten up the days of this dark, dark future we live in. <laughs> yes. Good night, Neon, and good night to you. <laughs> But, yes, once again, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Next time, we will be streaming, will be Saturday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. And depending on the vibes, we'll see how long we go. I doubt it'll be, <laughs> I doubt it'll be another Ace Attorney. Ace Attorney, I'm determined to make into a very, very rare outlier. <laughs> but, yes, again, thank you very much for watching me tonight, everybody. Remember, be you, be true, be happy. 
But most importantly, be kind. Thank you very much. And see you all next time.